My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. Okay, finally, I got one. Preview. Oh, I got one. Yeah, I got three so far. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten checkouts on Pam Pam London. Two orders already came in. Two of my orders from Pam Pam London actually shipped out. So that will be a total of four Jordan 1s that will be in my hands. Today is the day that the Yeezy 500 bones release and in fact there have been a couple of drops already that occurred and this drop is so confusing. Foot Locker is doing something with the timer, some people were able to access the GS pair, some people were not. It is just so weird. I honestly, Yeezy releases are so stressful. But anyways, I'm going to be banking on getting most of my pairs from Yeezy Supply or Adidas. There are a lot more drops coming up, it's still early in the morning, so hopefully we can get a bunch of these. Holy crap, Kodai servers just crashed, and that's basically where I set up like the vast majority of my tasks, and the entire Kodai Discord is going nuts. Hopefully they can get this fixed in time before the password page goes up, because this is looking really bad. Sorry, I forgot about that. I'm good. How is this not picking up? Mine just says starting and then checking stuff. You like your shoe Oh, wait, I got it in the car. How's your task going? Uh, generating checkout URL. Did they drop all the fucking Yeezys in a minute? I've got all the Yeezys in the right now. I just see it. Oh, I just got a checkout link. Submitting shipping. Oh, come on, let's go. Alright, please go through. I have just submitting billing on mine. I'm in the goddamn queue. Six sold out. What? These are selling out so fast. Five and a half's gone. Six and a half gone. Yeah, Wait, did you run any power modes, Nova? I did. You just freaking told me that. It's pissing me off now. <laughs> Dude, how are people checking out? I don't get it. Alright, Yeezy Supply just sucks. I'm just stuck in the queue forever and in the beginning I was getting a bunch of payment declines. And there are some people who got like 7, 12, 20 pairs. I have no idea how they did that. But... What happened, dude? Okay, okay. Got another one size nine. Uh, they just announced. So what happened was I was only going to go for base sizes until I realized how crazy fast these things were selling out so I decided to just go for basically any size just not a size 13 or 14. I started to check out 2 to 3 manually and then all of a sudden I just got tons of Yeezy supply confirmation emails. I did get a few cancellation emails which is okay but right when I was about to lose all hope I really thought I was going to go through this release without being 
being able to touch a single pair, but I was able to turn that around. So the lesson learned for today is do not give up, just keep on going. Can be really discouraging sometimes, but don't give up, stick with it until the drop is fully finished. One of the most common questions I get is what proxies and servers do you use? The main ones I use for basically every release are the ones for my sponsors which are these guys on the screen. If you're interested in using them as well or giving them a try, you can use my promo code BOTTERBOYNOVA for a nice discount. But sometimes I also do trial periods with other companies that I might work with in the future such as Hermes Proxies and Oculus Servers, which also worked quite well today. In episode 18 of Sneakers to Riches, I managed to get 6 checkouts for the Jordan Trophy Room 5s and only one of them got cancelled so I got 5 of them in my hands and I held on to those shoes up until today. Last week the prices just skyrocketed. Those are now valued at around $2,000 plus for each shoe and I have 5 of them. Now the problem is I had one sitting in flight club for about $1,000 and I wasn't really paying attention to the price that much so I sold it for about $1,000 when I really should have gotten about at least $2,000 for it. I held on to the rest of my pairs so now I have 4 trophy room Jordan 5s in my hands and I ended up selling one by accident for a bit too low of a price. The profit list is going to be on the screen right now. I sold a few other things on Flight Club so you can take a look at that as well. Nice little bonus but yeah I'm a little salty that I could have made an extra $1,000 just like that just by paying attention to the prices a bit more. But anyways Supreme is going to be dropping. I am going to go for the UK drop as well as the US drop. In about a few minutes, Supreme New York is going to be dropping. I'm going to be going for the US release, but as you can see, I'm not home. I don't have a computer in front of me. All I have is my phone, which is connected to a computer back at home. Not my home, UK home. So I'm going to be trying my best to go for these. So using TeamViewer is going to be a little bit more difficult. I really need these one clicks to hit, but I'll try my best. more tasks checking out now large medium they're stuck though I got TOS come on yo. by the ways if you are using cyber AIO remotely for example if you don't have a computer with you all you have with you is your phone you can use their phone app however there are some things you can't do such as mass editing your tasks and things like that so that's why I was using TeamViewer the app is quite a good resource however my strategy was running residentials for the initial drop and then doing data centers for restocks so I needed to mass edit my proxies after the initial drop was over another release that I missed that I'm kind of pissed off about I'm not really that salty but it is what it is is the kith bear brick hoodie those hoodies are so awesome they look amazing 
and on top of that the resale is good it seems like as of right now it's selling for around $300 and the retail is like $165 if I'm not mistaken. I feel like my chances on them would have been high if I did go for them but I didn't really plan for it therefore I wasn't prepared. So that's a L for me. Today is my last day in England. I'm going to be flying in about a few hours and the Jordan 1 Obsidians are going to be dropping tomorrow. And I'm going to be so freaking tired. So basically, as soon as I get home, I'm going to have to stay awake for another 15 to 20 hours to prepare for this drop. Alright, I just got back home. So we are going to see how many boxes of shoes we have in our room. We have a lot of unboxings to do. Three, two, one. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do unboxings for any of them yet because there is a very important drop, the Jordan 1 Obsidians. Since I got home pretty late, I barely have enough time to set up for everything. So I'm gonna just have to prioritize which websites I have the best chances on in order to save some time. We'll see if I get these after this message from our sponsor. People still ask me in my DMs and my comments how I know when and where these limited sneakers are going to drop. My dedicated viewers should know this by now, but if you're new to the channel, the vast majority of my information comes from Cook Groups. Good groups provide you with all the information you need to help maximize your chances to cop limited sneakers. They'll provide site lists, resale predictions, monitors, guides, and they'll answer your questions for anything else that you're not sure about. Unfortunately, getting into good groups can be a bit difficult. The best groups keep their memberships limited to keep their information exclusive, and they don't restock membership spots too often. But the good news is, in a few days, Notify, which is considered to be one of the best groups, will be restocking. Their memberships in particular sell out very fast almost like trying to get a limited sneaker. But you do have two chances to join. The restock dates are on the screen right now. If you want to get into reselling limited sneakers, in my opinion, joining a cook group is an excellent first step. Like I said, restocks for good groups don't happen too often, so secure your spot while you can. Good luck. Cyber, uh, I got access tonight. That's great. Right. Curly, how's your, how's your cyber working? It's not. It's not. It just it crashed. I restarted it. Um, now it doesn't. Oh fuck! The wall's disconnected. Cyber, fuck that. What a boy, Nova. <laughs> All right, ten seconds, guys. Yeah, we're Cyber boy. Oh, and did you post? Yeah. Just get a cookie. Just drop. It dropped, boys. MMA. Drop. Come on, come on, come on. Just drop. Come on, Cyber. Just drop, guys. Just drop. Yeah. Um, I hit. I hit on foot sides. Yep, I'm sorry. Ready? Yep, East Bay got three tech out. Nice. Nice, man. Seven and a half. Using what? Phantom? I'm using uh, Whoopot. Yo. Whoopot, bro. Oh, really? Good shit. Yeah. What's, what's that, ball? It's a. It's a. It's a. What? Let's go. Already, dude. Fuck. I told those, you, you're gonna hit those right are right my pairs. Right. What did I tell you? You're gonna hit right. That drop didn't exactly go my way. It is what it is. I tried my best, especially considering the limited time that I had to set up. However, if I were to do one thing differently during the setup process is I would have set up foot sight tasks on more than one bot. I, I should have set it up on both 
the Kickstation and Cyber. Kickstation didn't do too good on USA foot sites, but Cyber absolutely killed it. Yeah, I ended up with zero pairs. However, I am still running for restocks, so it is not over yet. I'm pretty sure there are going to be more websites dropping, maybe tomorrow or maybe in a few hours. We'll see. Hopefully, we can get our hands on at least one of these still. But anyways, we have a lot of boxes to open, so let's get to it. I just checked out six base sizes using Cyber. I caught a restock on East Bay. However, the bad news is I did not get any emails. A lot of people are saying these could be ghost charges. I really hope they're not, but most likely they are. But one can only hope and see. So maybe these come in, but most likely it won't. I have figured out what shoes I am going to sell. I'm going to be selling a bunch of Yeezy 500s, my sesames and my salts, and my turbo green. So I will be going to stadium goods a little bit later today to drop them off. However, I do believe that the prices on these are going to rise slowly because all of the Yeezy 500s went up in price without really any issues. So if I were able to hold on to these, I definitely would have held on to more in comparison to what I'm dropping off today. But I'm kind of in a position where I do need the money right now. So. That's what I'm going to be doing. Additionally, I already sold a nine and a half on StockX. I'm not expecting a lot of money from these 500s because the sizes that I got weren't that good. This time period, which is basically like two to three weeks right after the shoes release is when the prices are gonna be the absolute lowest because a lot of people are trying to get rid of their pairs. But in the meantime, I'm selling like around a little bit more than half of what I got and the rest, I'm going to hold to see if the prices go up. In about seven minutes, Supreme is going to be doing their in-store signups. Now, this one is going to be quite important because the Supreme Nike SB Dunks Low are going to be dropping because this is a sneaker collaboration that actually looks good. They haven't done a sneaker collaboration with Nike that looks pretty good in quite a while. I am looking forward to copying these and it would be even better if we could get it in store. So I'm going to be using Cyber, I'm going to manual, Joy is also going to manual. So we're going pretty ham on this one and hopefully we can get in. Oh yes, I got the processing. I don't know what's going on with my cyber. I'm not sure if I did something wrong with that one. But anyways, proce problem processing your credit card. What is that? <gasps> oh, you got it! Oh shoot! <laughs> okay, so we are going to go to the Supreme store in two days. Tomorrow we are going to find out what time slot we get. However, I am very happy that we're going to the Supreme store. I haven't been there in a while. I kind of think they have my name blacklisted or something. My luck there is really bad. But anyways, we will go there. Maybe we'll even see some of you viewers. And I'll see you in the next episode.